Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Aiden here, and today we're going to be taking a look at A Dark Ice Sega The Rescue. A Dark Ice Sega The Rescue is an adventure 2D platformer released by Dad, Mom, and the two kids on December 4th, 2020. As you run down the slopes of Black Ice Mountain, your robot friend Citrus was destroyed by Ann Tang. Playing as the hero Dark Ice, your mission is to retrieve Citrus's robot pieces, vanquish Ann Tang, and restore your friendship. This is a simplistic platformer created by a 13 and 7 year old kid and their parents. In this game you'll run through levels that get progressively more difficult. There's no story and the controls are easy. They had soft audio in the background that was nice to listen to as you play. I'm not going to tear into this game too badly as it was designed by kids. We've all been young and wanted to do something big. The only gripe I have with this game is they charge 60 cents for it. If you're releasing your first game to the internet, you may want to make it free to play and submit it to some browser sites like Mini Clip or Addicting Games before you release it to a major gaming network as a pay-to-play game. I remember being in elementary school using a shitty old computer with Windows 95 as an operating system, making games similar to this in the span of a few hours. I would have never thought that any of the old games I ever made when I was a child were worth any money. That being said, it's good work for the first game and it's not easy learning how to program. Now it's time to review this game and here's where I can't go easy anymore. I need to rank this game to the same standard I would rank any other game. I can rank this game in two areas, visuals and audio. For visuals, I'd give this game a one. This game is as simple as they get. You're a square and you must walk on a bunch of square platforms and you need to avoid bad squares and the background was mostly just solid colors. There was no diversity whatsoever for visuals besides in color. For audio, I'll give this game a four. This game only has one song that plays throughout the entire game and thankfully it's not overwhelming or annoying so it's not all that bad. They also added a handful of sound effects that go really well with the game. So overall, I'd give this game a 2.5 out of 10. I just wanna say that for a first game, this is wonderful. It's an amazing and successful attempt at making a game and I truly believe these kids should continue working on what they love because one day, they may just be the ones to design us something we can only imagine in the future. You never know. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, leave me a like and a comment telling me which game you'd like to see me do a review on next. And also subscribe and share if you haven't already.